Is my SQL Server in a good place? Am I doing a good job of managing my SQL Server? What about the people that I work with? Are they doing a good job? What do I need to worry about inside my database? That's why I wrote SP Blitz. It's a free stored procedure, open source in our first responder kit. And what it does is it takes a look at your SQL Server just like a consultant would. Consultants around the world rely on this tool every single day. Don't pay for a health check until you've run this to get a rough idea of what's going on on your SQL Server. Now in here, I give you a prioritized list from the most important stuff up at the top down to less urgent things down at the bottom. For example, we have databases that haven't been backed up recently. Boy, if I had a dollar for... I do have a dollar for every time that a client has thought that they were backing up databases when they really weren't. If you don't believe it, you can go check out the URLs where I give you more information about where we're pulling this data from. There's more information over in the details column as well if you want to see what the specifics are between a particular warning. For example, the user administrator has been running free proc cache behind your back and check DB events have been happening. The idea here is that you're going to go through this and start fixing things from the most urgent to least urgent. Now, if you happen to be a consultant, one of the ways that you can get to know a client server is by adding in the check server check server info equals one command or parameter down at the end of it. What that does is it runs additional checks against the server to give you more information about that client server. For example, if I zoom in here and take a look, it'll tell me things like what the uh, server, SQL Server CPU speeds are, whether or not it's a VM or bare metal, what patch level they're running at, how, much, uh, uh, how many CPU cores they have, how much memory they have, how much data is on the server, and more. So it get, helps you get a quick overview for the kinds of hardware that you're dealing with. Most of the, I can't tell you how many times I've had someone email me the results of this and we've been able to solve the problem quickly just by saying, hey, you see this warning? That's what's causing you the problems. Now, I teach you way more how to use this plus more parameters and what they do in my How I Use the First Responder Kit class. Or, if you don't have time for that and you want to hand over the keys and let someone take over and tell you what's going on on the server, go to brentozar.com and click Consulting at the top of the screen and I can work you through the problems that are happening on your SQL Server and how to get permanent pain relief. But don't pay me until you've run this. This solves a whole lot of problems. Go get started, and it's free.